Hey everybody, Tim Kast here. For the longest time, we've heard conservatives refer to news media as the liberal media. And I know a lot of people on the left who say, oh, there's no such thing as a liberal media. These people just don't like hearing facts. They don't like hearing the truth because it conflicts with how they see the world. Since the start of this election, Trump supporters have referred to CNN as the Clinton News Network. And a lot of people roll their eyes. Is it possible that a major news organization is working to prop up one political party and candidate? It seems crazy, right? Until the latest batch of leaked emails from WikiLeaks. One of the first emails shows a DNC staffer mentioning that Wolf Blitzer was going to interview Donald Trump and to please send me your thoughts. Immediately a bunch of people said, oh, you know, CNN and the DNC are colluding and I, I, hold on. Send me your thoughts, we don't really know what that means. You know, it's kind of strange, you know, we're getting there, but no definitive proof of anything. And people did respond with a list of questions and statements. Still, send me your thoughts, could be an internal conversation, right? Let's, 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 be, let's be reasonable. Well, then another email came out. CNN was going to interview Ted Cruz, and this time the DNC flat out said, send me your questions. But now it doesn't seem internal. Because this email starts by saying CNN is looking for questions and to please send them all by 3 p.m. But there's been a few other times that CNN has made weird statements that kind of shine a positive light on Hillary Clinton. For the longest time, she was being investigated by the FBI for her uh, use of a private email server. There's been a whole back and forth and a lot of people are angry over Director Comey's actions and how he announced a secondary investigation and I, I'm not going to get into that. But in the early stages, CNN reported that she wasn't being investigated, that it was a security inquiry. And that's actually a statement from Clinton herself. But several times I saw on CNN and you can see on the site, they refer to it as a security inquiry and not an investigation. And that's so strange that Director Comey had to make a statement saying, I'm not familiar with the phrase security inquiry, we're doing an investigation, it's what we do. In my personal opinion, it looks like CNN and the DNC are colluding to prop up Hillary Clinton. Well, you know, when you look at all this stuff, and I've mentioned this before, the parent company to CNN, Time Warner, has been a longtime contributor to Hillary Clinton, giving her upwards of $800,000 over her career. It's unfortunate that we're just learning about all of this now because we're one day away from the election. There's not much we can do about it. We can't change this. We can't dig further into it. Millions of people have already voted and the die is cast. It's coming down to the wire. Tomorrow is the big day. Who will win? I have no idea. So when you go out and vote, vote for who you think is going to do the right job. Vote for how you think you are going to have an impact that's going to make the world better as you see it. I don't care who you vote for, but please, just don't pretend like your candidate is free of guilt, right? That's all. So that being said, thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter at TimCast. Subscribe to my channel if you like more videos like this and also like and share the video. Also make sure to check out Subverse at It's Subverse. Again, thank you all so much for watching. I will see you all next time.